In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best counters to the double loop blitz in Madden 23. We're going to be taking a look at the gun tight formation in the Washington offensive playbook. This can also be found in the Detroit offensive playbook as well. If you guys are watching this video and you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join uh, the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. All right, guys, so I wanted to talk today about the double loop blitz. I've been getting a lot of questions about how do you beat this defense? How do you block this blitz? Um, this blitz is really overpowered, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So we're going to kind of do a video on that. Again, if you want to get my entire uh, ebook on the tight offense, uh, the link is in the description below. But basically, the double loop meta is essentially this. They're going to move these linebackers outside. They're going to put them on contains. And the play we're using is PA zone across. But I want to show you real quick um, just a little bit of a nuance. So if I go to slot post here, you're going to notice that this blitz is probably going to scream in off of one, if not both, of the edges. And this makes this one of the best blitzes in, in the entire game. Like, you know, you'll see here again. Let me just move these guys out. And I'll show you now. I'm going to block my running back. And what you'll see is if I'm not in a play action plan to block my running back, a lot of times they'll just come off the opposite side, if not come right down the middle too. Okay. The key to blocking this blitz is really a couple different ways to block this blitz, but one of the biggest things that I have found uh, to be helpful for me is to utilize the play action uh, mechanic, right? I've talked about this before. Uh, this was something we were using in the beginning of the year when this blitz was a problem and it's back um, is this play action. So what you'll see here is I'm going to go play action and you'll see that we're able to block the blitz and we're also able to throw one of our quick man beating routes super fast. Now, again, this isn't going to like give you all day they are blitzing five people at you but it will kind of give you an initial chance to be able to make a read um and this is why play action in my opinion is so important whether it be in trips whether it be in tight you need to have some good play action plays that you can go to and one of the other keys with play action is you don't want to run play action with your running back to the left side if i flip my formation here if you have a right-handed quarterback and you want to run play action to the left side you're going to see here yes it does block the blitz but you have terrible animations. It's really difficult for you to get the ball out quick. It's really difficult for you to really do anything um, against that defense because of the handoff animation that you're going to get. Whereas when you are on the right side here, you are going to have a much smoother um, handoff animation, and that's going to allow you to you know, basically have more of an opportunity to actually make something happen. Now, from an adjustments perspective, what do you like to do as far as adjustments for this play? Uh, what I like to do recently is i like to put steve smith on a slant and i'm going to motion him across this is going to also help our in protection you don't need any hot rod abilities whatsoever it's also going to give us another man beater to attack the coverage across the middle of the field now another common thing that people like to do against gun tight is they love to go to cover for drop and this play is super effective against cover for drop so let's say that they set up you know maybe they set up the pressure off of this right side here and then they're dropping you know coverage or whatever as it may be pa zone across or, or pa cross whatever you want to call it is really really good against this so what you're going to see with this is this slant is going to pull the zones to it and this corner route is going to do a good job as well so we're going to have some time here and we're going to throw the ball to the tight end let me show you that one more time against cover four zone so let me go over here cover four zone and just for the sake of the example, I'm not going to send the pressure, even though like we could send the pressure. It's just the fact that they're going to they're going to shed me. And that's the biggest problem. Um, so I want to try to give us, you know, a little bit more time here to make this throw. So, again, the other thing that's really important, you see here, I didn't put Smith on a route. Now, when I try to put him on a slant route, it's going to put him on a block and release. You have to put him on a slant route before you motion him across. So we're going to put him on a slant, motion him across. And then this play becomes one of the best plays in Madden um, and what you're gonna see here is again cover four we're gonna highball and free form it away from that safety on the right side as you can see we're able to complete this over the top of the cover four defense for a pretty big gain so we're able to attack main coverage well with this we're also able to attack um, different types of zone coverage it could be a couple different variations of it one of the things I do want to say is most people are either gonna be running cover four against you if you're running in tight or they're gonna be running some type of um, they're going to be either be running cover four against you or they're going to be running man, generally speaking. Like, that's kind of what I've experienced. Now, what you can also do is let's say that you guess wrong and they're in cover three. All you have to do is just check it down. 
Check it down to your little crosser right here. Check it down to your uh, slant on the back side, right? Um, you can the, – the cover three on the right, when we motion the slant over, sometimes you can fit this route to Herman Morin. This basically with like a uh, – essentially a, a high ball to the outside here. So you see here, just kind of – free form and high ball this to the outside but as you can see it's not it's definitely not like a one-to-one -one deal it's not something that is as good as the cover four bomb in this now if they go cover two let me show you that real quick if they go cover two on you in this defense um you're going to be able to score a touchdown should you should score a touchdown every time they're in cover two or at least hit a big play over the top you got you've got that guy up the seam that's going to be pretty decent for you but the other route that you have um if they're going to run if they're going to run cover two uh the other route that you have on the field is you have this deep corner to herman moore so you'll see here we're going to freeform that down into the outside and you see we're going to be able to attack cover uh, cover two that way so you know really if they're in cover three i would just recommend checking the ball down there's one little thing here uh with the cover three Again, most people, they're just not going to run a straight-up cover three with hard flats or something. Uh, but in the event that they do, just freeform this back, and you're going to ag it. And that can be something for you against cover three. But by and large, this play is going to attack the meta blitz really well because you have play action, which is the best way to block a blitz this year. Um, just like last year, it's really effective for blocking the specifically contained blitzes like loop blitzes and stuff like that. This is really, really good. And then you have really easy routes that get open consistently against man coverage. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, head down to the description below and go check out the Patreon.